and your orders are always followed. And why would Santiago be in danger? Why would it be necessary to transfer him off the base? Santiago was a substandard Marine. He was being transferred. That's not what you said. You said he was being transferred because he was in grave danger. That's correct. You said I... he was in danger. I said grave danger. You said, is there I any recall other... what I said. I can have the court reporter read back to you. I know what I said. I don't have to have it read back to me like I'm... Why the two orders? orders? Colonel? Sometimes men take matters into their own hands. No, sir, you made it clear just a moment ago that your men never take matters in their own hands. Your men follow orders or people die. So Santiago shouldn't have been in any danger at all, should he have, Colonel? You snotty little bastard. Your Honor, I'd like to ask for a recess. I'd like an answer to the question, Judge. The court will wait for an answer. If Lieutenant Kendrick gave an order that Santiago wasn't to be touched, then why did he have to be transferred? Colonel? Lieutenant Kendrick ordered the code red, didn't he? Because that's what you told Lieutenant Kendrick to do. Object! And when it went bad, you cut cursed. these guys loose! Your Honor, you had markets inside a bony transfer. Your Honor, you doctored the logbook. Damn it, Captain! You coerced the doctor. Consider you yourself in contempt. You. Colonel Jessup, did you order the code red? You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to You them. want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's going to do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You weep for Santiago, and you curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know, that Santiago's death, while tragic, probably saved lives. And my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very freedom that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide it. I would rather you just said thank you and went on your way. Otherwise, I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand a post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. Did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you, you order the code red? You're goddamn right I did! Please, the court, I suggest the members be dismissed so that we can move to an immediate Article 39A session. The witness has rights. Captain Ross. Jack? The members of the court will retire to an anteroom until further instructed. All rise. What the hell is this? Colonel, what's going on? I did my job, I do it again. I'm gonna get on a plane and go on back to my base. You're not going anywhere, Colonel. MPs, guard the Colonel. Yes, sir. Captain Ross. What the hell is this? Colonel Jessup, you have the right to remain silent. Any statement. I'm being charged with a crime. A trial by court is that what this is? Or administrative I'm being charged with a crime. Right to consult with a lawyer prior to any further this questioning. This is funny. This lawyer may be a civilian That's what lawyer this is. by you at this your is... own expense. I'm gonna rip the eyes out of your head and piss at your dead skull. You fucked with the wrong Marine. Colonel Jessup, do you understand these rights as I've just read them to you? Fucking people. You have no idea how to defend a nation. All you did was weaken a country today, Kathy. That's all you did. You put people's lives in danger. Sweet dreams, son. Don't call me son. I'm a lawyer and an officer in the United States Navy. And you're under arrest, you son of a bitch. 
The witness is excused. Members reached a verdict. We have, sir. <clears throat> Lance Corporal Dawson, Private First Class Downey. On the charge of murder, the members find the accused not guilty. The charge of conspiracy to commit murder. The members find the accused not guilty. On the charge of conduct unbecoming a United States Marine, the members find the accused guilty as charged. The accused are hereby sentenced to time already served, and you are ordered to be dishonorably discharged from the Marine Corps. This court martial is adjourned. All rise. What does that mean? How? What did that mean? I don't understand. Colonel Jessup said he ordered the code red. I know. But... Colonel Jessup said he ordered the code red. What did we do wrong? It's not that simple. What did we do wrong? We did nothing wrong. Yeah, we did. He was supposed to fight for people who couldn't fight for themselves. He was supposed to fight for Willie. Lieutenant Caffey, I have to take these men over to personnel for some paperwork. Harold? Sir? You don't need to wear a patch in your arm to have honor. Ten hot! There's an officer on deck. Chairman Cecil O'Malley and Anthony Rodriguez, what exactly were these guys going to testify to? Unless I'm mistaken, they're both going to testify under oath that they had absolutely no recollection of anything. Strong witnesses. And handsome to it, didn't you think? <laughs> I'll see you around campus. I got to go arrest Kendrick. Tell him I say hi. Will do.